Hey there everyone, Hatesh here, back again with another video and this is day 5 of our challenge. I hope day 5. Yeah, it's a day 5. So, we are again, in case you are not aware of this, I have started a challenge series on my YouTube channel and every single day I'll try to explore and put my best on Adobe XD. Uh, at initial days I was not much familiar with the software but the more time I spend with it, the better I am becoming. And this is what we are about to create in today's uh, day 5 of this challenge. Looks pretty beautiful, it gives a feeling of love. Uh, this is kind of a dating app, dating chat-ish app and you can have a scroll feature just like that. You can have notification of new apps in a card view. Uh, this is how it's gonna look like. So this is all what we will be designing. All of them are from scratch except this icon uh, which is for articles and again full credit goes to flat icons uh, again i'll mention the credit as well here because this is taken from that all of these ones are rest are created uh, easily these are easy peasy one so let's get started let's close this one and we're gonna bring our xd there we go and uh, this is what we are having and in case just you are wondering how that scroll was possible i'll walk you through as well because uh, this is scroll is actually pretty interesting with the adobe xd so without wasting any more time, I think this is, uh, let's select this one. This one for, was for iPhone. Uh, so we're gonna get a new board for iPhone 8. There we go. Now on this artboard, if you select this one, you'll notice that there are a couple of options here, uh, which is the scrolling, which is vertical. You can have none. I would like to have a vertical scrolling in this. And as you uh, just kind of move it a little bit onto that, uh, onto the bottom side, you'll notice there is a dotted line which mentioned that this is the screen area which will be visible for the very first time. But after that is a scrollable. So it will be there, but it's scrollable. Okay, so there we go, we are having it. And uh, looks pretty good. Okay, now a couple of things more that I did on this. The first one is the layout. I wanted to have a layout. Now in this, on this screen, you will notice there is a layout, of course. The reason behind that layout, because I wanted to have a gutter width of 15. I don't want everything to be shrinked onto the edge of my app. That's why I have created this. Apart from this, if you create three column, four column, I haven't worked much on it. In case you want to have it, feel free to just go ahead, explore that. So in the layout, I wanted to have a gutter width of uh, 10 and uh, the column width can be 68. You can have three, four, however you like. So I'm gonna go and this is actually 10. I think 10 is pretty good, but I can go for five actually. No, I don't want the gutter width actually. Uh, I need the column with this one as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and 10 for this, not 10, actually 20. So from the left side and right side, I wanted to have it. Now, in case you want to change the gutter width a little bit or the column width, feel free to just go ahead and do that. Now, keeping that turned on, I'm gonna press R on my rectangle key on my keyboard and we're gonna grab a rectangle, there we go. Uh, it's gonna be a smaller one just like this one, there we go. And we are gonna fill, remove the border and we're gonna fill it with some color, any random color as of now, okay. Now, a couple of interesting stuff here, oops, don't want to do that. Okay, escape and V key, there we go. Okay, now one more interesting thing is that in the future, uh, we will be working on this uh, buttons here, which is, I want to do some more things with it, so just keep it there. Okay, now on this rectangle, we're gonna press our option key or alt key on Windows, and we're gonna shrink that a little bit just to give it a like, or instead what we can do is we can just select this and can make them equal. So I'm gonna go for 35, which is really a big number for the rounded edge. But this, in this one, I want to go with that. Now, what we're gonna do, we are gonna turn off this layout for both of them because my guided lines are there. And now we're gonna choose the exact same color. So we're gonna go for gradient, linear gradient. It's gonna go from left to right. There we go. And on the right hand side, we're gonna pick the color of this light purplish, pinkish, whatever you call that. And for this side, we're gonna go dark purple. There we go, so almost same. Now the next thing that we are gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna create a rectangle so that we can have menu bars. So I'm gonna go for that. And this is six by 44. And we're gonna go for corner radius of three. So there we go. It looks better and remove the border. And there we go. Now we can just uh, press the Z key and we can zoom it here. 
and V key and now I can hold down my option key and I can just drag and drop this guy again and there we go nice and easy navigation bar okay there we go and now on this side we're gonna have an icon so I'm gonna press E key to have my ellipse tool and we're gonna have a chat there we go little bit bigger there we go press V key to move it like that press Z key to go all the way into it remove the border and press V key we're gonna have double click now we're gonna give it a little bit like that click here click a little bit here and we're gonna just move it like that kind of a chat app icon there we go a little bit sharper on the edge there we go nice and easy okay or probably I will be moving it a little bit onto the bottom side. There we go. Okay, looks not so good. I'm gonna press Command Z. The previous one was good. There we go. In case you want to have a roundish corner, that's totally up to you. Now, my account text is pretty easy. We're gonna say my account, select all of it, change the fill color to pure white. And we are gonna go ahead, bump the font a little bit like that. Press V key, move it to the center. There we go, nice and easy. How easy it was, super easy. We're gonna grab a rectangle and we are gonna have a simple rectangle to have a personal portfolio profile of uh, this width probably. So 296, I'm gonna go for 300. There we go. Remove the border. Uh, I'll keep the border for a moment and I want the shadow as well and I'll increase the shadow a little bit six there we go now I can remove the border yeah that card looks so much better now okay now we're gonna have E tool hold down your shift key to have a circle uh, press V key there we go okay and a little bit smaller there we go so this one is 72 by 72 we're gonna increase the border by 2 change the color to this pink there we go or probably I'll bump it up a little bit to like 3 4 yeah 4 is good okay and we're gonna give some name here funny names so Emma Watson and there we go select all of it uh, change the fill color to a uh, grayish darker one there we go and we're gonna change that to capital E okay there we go let's hit the zoom key because I think we're missing something here press V key okay now it's good and we're gonna bump the font a little bit press command minus to zoom out and a little bit like that we're gonna grab it there a little bit more okay that sounds good that is pretty good and again we do have a model and coder here so we're gonna give that so we're gonna say model and coder why can't why is it not possible it's totally possible so there we go escape key uh, v key there we go i'm getting better in this i like it there we go and make sure your guides actually helps you three pixels from here three pixels from here looks pretty good and now we're gonna go go ahead and borrow these icons I have actually borrowed this one exactly from here I have created just above this one is coming up from the flat icon so full credit for the creator I have actually edited uh, some of the color scheme as well feel free to choose your icons you now are aware of it so we're gonna go ahead grab all of these three copy that and in case you are complaining that, hey, uh, please don't copy and paste, we don't have that artboard, you do have flat icons, my dear friends. So please go ahead onto flat icon website and just copy from there. Okay, we're gonna bump it a little bit more because this one is a little bit more spacious. And, uh, oops, we're gonna select all of them and we're gonna just move them a little bit down there. Okay, and now we do have these text ones here, so they are pretty easy. I'm gonna move this a little bit up. Yeah, that sounds good. There we go. And now I can move them up a little bit. Okay, looks nice. Then the text. 
and this one was for likes article and messages so I'm gonna say 1200 likes of course Emma would get that easily and escape okay there we go 1200 likes hold down your option key and we're gonna duplicate that here and hold down your option key again and we're gonna duplicate that here okay so 1200 likes and I'm gonna say uh, five articles and probably 500 messages okay this one is a little bit problematic so let's fix that there we go nice and easy the next thing that we need is this edit info button that is super easy to do so we're gonna just give it like that okay and we want to have it just exactly like that little bit okay that's good 137 by 29 so we're gonna keep that to 30 okay and we will have rounded corners so just make that completely round like that and uh, no border surely fill color is going to be pinkish okay and the text is gonna be edit info yes edit info select that make that white because white is gonna make a contrast here escape oops escape again and there we go okay this one is so easy now don't worry we are not gonna be designing all of it because we do have a feature of repeat grid so we will be using that in a minute okay so first thing that I did was designing this particular rectangle so we're gonna do exactly the same R and we're gonna get ourselves a rectangle we'll leave a little bit space here now one more thing that I forgot here that in here we do have like grayish background we here we forgot that and also uh, in case you did notice we do have this bar here so in one of the previous video I've mentioned how to grab this bar so please go ahead and watch that video uh, just to give you a reminder here go to file and get UI kits and you can grab Apple one or material one basically we just want a bar here so you can have it now let me just zoom out a little bit because we want to have this grayish background all that looks good in the white one as well but we want to have it so we're gonna draw a rectangle here just like that and uh, remove the border and we're gonna fill it with a little bit grayish uh, I think that that one is looking good yeah that that kind of a but you'll notice that everything is hidden behind and here comes our layers panel in case you haven't opened it up so this rectangle needs to go all the way at the very bottom and there we go see how easy it was let's zoom up there select this guy remove the border have the shadows bump that up to six there we go nice and easy card now in this card we are gonna have a circle so E and we're gonna have a circle this big press V key to shape that circle bump the border size to 2 and the border is gonna be of color I can pick the color easily there we go okay next thing is we need a name here Jane Doe John Doe whatever you want to have so we're gonna have Jane Doe Jane Doe select that and this needs a color which is again gonna be pinkish this app is so pink <laughs> I get that okay so I uh, will increase the size a little bit like that okay and we're gonna hold down option key and get a duplicate we'll shrink that a little bit and third three minutes ago so this is gonna be time one so three minutes ago select that and we are gonna fill it with grayish color a little bit darker there we go and there we go this is how I want it exactly like that so there we go we have kind of a card for how much how many how how many minutes ago you have talked to this person and again these three guys we can just copy them feel free to just grab your own icons from flat icons or maybe just create one for you and we're gonna just paste that looks good we need to lower you down a little bit okay using the arrow keys there we go and we're gonna grab a nice text there and we'll say uh, a new 
message not message new message from and there we go and we'll keep it there okay looks nice nice and easy and actually honestly i think this one should be a little bit bigger or this one should be a little bit smaller uh, i think this one is actually pretty accurate so we are gonna just move it like that this one all should be like exactly same or no i think this one should be a little bit bigger this will make sense okay this will make sure the symmetry is good and still we do have a lot of corner here so i'm gonna just increase that a little bit i i don't want to touch it to the corners but still i want to grab this rounded cornerish feeling which makes my card really pop out and this one should be exactly at the at the width of this one because i really wish they could have exact better grids okay now comes the interesting part which is we are going to select all of them so make sure you hold down your shift key select all of them including the outer one when everything is selected press command g or control g to make them a group together once you have a group of this now you can turn them into repeat grid now what is going to happen with this repeat grid is i can just uh, save a ton of time for me and i can just duplicate all of them okay there we go and in case uh in case I don't like how the way they are uh, too much spaced, I can just go ahead and just shrink the space a little bit like that. I think 10 is good. There we go, and we can increase a couple of more. So there we go, exactly how I want it to be. Okay, this is all looking good, but mine one is having some of the uh, photos as well. So how you can grab that. Now here comes the interesting part about the XD that I like the most is, uh, Whenever you want any photo to be dragged and dropped, you can just drag and drop like that. Of course, you can select them and can move. Uh, there we go, that is good and nice. But what's excellent about this Adobe XD is you can select multiple photos, like I can select all of them, and I'll select all of them as well. And I can just drag and drop all of them in just one circle. And notice it's so smart that it's automatically going to detect and it's going to fill it for you. Now, same thing happens with the text as well. For example, you have Jane Doe. Uh, you can write on a text uh, all these files separated by enter. So Jane Doe, John Doe, Mary Jane, whatever you want to have. And you can just drag and drop in here and it's going to automatically change that. So I, I recommend you to try that. Okay, so let's run this. How is it going to look? So there we go. Looks pretty good. Now, one of the interesting part about this preview is, let me show you that. We are gonna shrink that a little bit. And let's say, for example, Emma Watson, I'm going to say Mary Jane. Uh, notice on the preview, it actually, it actually changes everything on the instant. And that is something I discovered just today, that it just changed everything in the preview right now. So I can share this preview with somebody and I can do all the magic just while he's watching the preview. So pretty good. Again, 18 minutes, too much time spent on this, but I think it's totally worth it. Uh, we forgot to add one more thing. So just to sake of perfection, uh, we're gonna just copy this text. I hope everybody can just grab a text and paste that. There should be no problem in that. So there we go, some updates for you. Now it's looking better, okay. I think uh, we have learned a lot of things in this one. Repeat Grid was there and of course drag and drop was there and it's a pretty beautiful UI. In the next video, I will try to do something with these icons uh, so that I can walk you through with a couple of more things and I can also learn them. And of course, uh, we cannot just end it here. We need to address some of the people as well. So let me just wait for a second as well if you have waited so much. So there we go, let's uh, see a couple of designs what people have uh, created. Uh, this one was pretty good, I liked it by the UAPS, which is Eat Sleep Code. Very minimal, very awesome. Uh, this one is pretty good, I have used my photos, so I love that. And uh, there we go, we have seen some of the other designs. Uh, this one is also pretty good by Akshat Gupta, I saw that. And uh, one more is there, uh, which I personally like this one. So although the last screen is uh, you can work a little bit more on that, but surely it was pretty good design. And this one is newly posted. I haven't seen that, but surely I'll see that. So kudos to all those people who are following me up on this challenge and are submitting their challenges on my Facebook or on my Instagram. I'm seeing all of them. So that's it for this video. Let's catch up in the next one.